Hi everyone, welcome to Border Tax with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie, you're not, and either any of these blokes, this is Bolognese, Bolognese from Yeti Clan in the brand new Tier 10 Auto Reloading Italian Medium Tank. Try saying that with a, uh, after a few beers, The it's the Progetto M40 Mod 65. I had to practice saying that one a few times. The Progetto 65, that's what we're going to call it in this one. It's a four shot auto reloading Italian Tier 10 medium tank. Wow. Unbelievable. Four rounds in the clip as Bolognese is on Prokhorovka. Not stuffing around, going straight into the middle. Does cop a damaging shot from the Edelweiss, that uh, Tier 8 premium Japanese uh, medium tank. Bolognese is no dummy. Is into the middle, looking for some vision in the middle of Prokhorovka. He's got the... Uh, He's on the third. The third round is just loading into the auto-reloading gun barrel. And what is that gun look like? 105mm gun. 360 alpha damage. 268 penetration. That's with uh, APCR rounds, which is standard ammunition on this tank. 330 with heat rounds. He's got spaghetti with meat sauce as a premium consumable loaded. And, of course, with any auto-loader or auto-reloader. That's going to help with his reload time, his time between shots. And, of course, his aim time, his speed camo values all that kind of jazz speaking of camo values have a look at the camouflage on that tank as uh Polonais pops a couple of pops one round over there to where he thinks the enemy team might be on the eastern hill of prokhorovka just using the gun like a almost like a single shot there and of course that's the thing with these auto reloadings the more the more rounds you pump out the more uh, the longer it takes to reload now Polonais has just used the last of his four rounds and he's got 604 damage and of course because he's used all four the first one is taking a long time to load then the second one will be see the second one is going to be 10 seconds we'll see what the third one's going to be if he uh if he waits that long before he starts shooting i reckon he might so the second one was 10 seconds the third one is nine by the looks of it or maybe just under nine seconds as you look, looks looking at the T28 briefly, and the final one, seven seconds by the looks of it. But he's not going to wait those seven seconds. Puts one into the side of the batch at 12T. Picks up the kill on the enemy Projecto 46. That's the premium. That's the tier eight premium medium tank version. The one with the three, one with three rounds in its clip. Two walls to score. He's picked up 1278 damage already in the Projecto 65. He's waiting for that uh, that gun to to reload itself. And this is what I like about the Projecto. When you and I've said this before when I did a video about the Projecto. 46, the premium version of the tier 8 uh, Italian auto reloading medium tank. If you're like me and you're not quite sure sometimes, if you're driving a Bat Chat or a Bat Chat uh, 25 TAP or AMX 50B or any auto loading tank and you've used half your clip and you, at some stage you've got to make a decision do I try to empty up the clip or do I? Uh, take an early reload now of course the italian tanks remove that decision from you you don't need to make the decision as soon as you find one round it starts to, to reload that one round and if you've only fired one it's reasonably quick if you fired two or three it's going to take a little bit longer as bolognese pops one into the amx 30 at tier nine uh, still two two they've lost two tier eight tanks so is the enemy team and uh, Bolognese just playing around in the middle here, up to 1626. Only copped one shot of damage so far. That from that annoying uh, little Edelweiss tank. Looking at the side of the tortoise. There's one round. There's the second. Is he going to wait for the reload? It looks like he might. It looks like he might wait for the reload. And that's the that's the the only decision I think sometimes you need to make with this tank is do you wait for a round to go into the clip before you start shooting? Because the more rounds you have in the clip ready to go. The, the quicker the next one's going to be to, to reload, if that makes sense. It's been done to death on the forums and the articles have been written, uh, written about these Italian tanks. The, the, the longer you wait, or the, the more rounds you have ready to go, the quicker the next round is to reload. 4-3, as Bolognese doesn't penetrate the, uh, the Tortoise. The Tortoise can be funny like that, but he's already done 3,041 hit points of damage. One kill. Playing around in the middle of Prokhorovka, looking at the minimap, lots of tanks back here in the southwest corner, which is not unusual. Bolognese getting lots of vision in the middle with the Centurion and the T100 LT. What's another one into the top? What was that? The Malbrecker. He's a little bit, um, he'll be feeling a little bit nervous. The Malbrecker down to eight hit points. And Bolognese waiting for that reload. I reckon I'll be possibly waiting for more than one round to go in. 
and uh, gets a little bit of assist damage on the Centurion 5-1. Hopefully you saw the replay just the other day featuring the Centurion 5-1, the Tier 8 Premium British. It's not really British, is it? It's an Aussie tank, let's face it. It's an Aussie tank. One's got a kangaroo on the side of its turret and all, so it must be an Australian tank. 6-3 on Prokhorovka. Bolognese, he knows he doesn't need to do anything too silly. Just needs to make sure he can confirm this win. Pops a shot towards the Scorpion G just as it goes unspotted. I reckon that one would have went in, but of course we don't see that in the damage counter because uh, he disappeared just before uh, the shell from Bolognese's spaghetti tank landed in the general direction of the tier 8 premium German tank destroyer. 7-3 looking pretty good right now but as usual even though we're looking good the scoreboard looks fantastic at 7-3 the tanks down here in the southwest are still kicking back camping like absolute legends and um, Bolognese in an excellent position on almost full health he's on 1653 hit points he's only still only copped one damaging shot even though he's been right at the front of the action all game long in the middle of Prokhorovka looking for vision on the Edelweiss and the AMX 30 both of them have not been seen for some time so they may not still be around there and that's I reckon what Bolognese is thinking is thinking oh my beer I've got this I'm going to start rolling in um, to try and find out where these two tanks are the 30 AMX 30 and the Edelweiss the Batchat 12T goes down to the AMX 30 that's the one that uh, there's the AMX 30 up there Bolognese will be licking his lips saying your beauty he's been spotted but he doesn't care Puts one, with, bounces with his first shell. Second one, uh, second one goes through. Waits to aim. Does it go? Who killed it? Object 430 picked up the kill on the AMX 30T. Auto aims on the batch at 12T. Picks up that kill, and that's his second kill. 3,839 damage. A little bit of assisted damage as well, and now it looks like. Unfortunately, this is what you do see a fair bit of on this map. You see everybody up there in the north. Um, Northwest. Bolognese sees his opportunity to pop a shot into the side of the IS-70. Takes it, knowing that for the next few seconds he's going to be rolling forward. He'll be looking for vision. He's going to help this T-100LT who has gotten pretty, pretty goddamn excited. Pops one into the back of the IS-7. Tries. This has done the right thing there, Bolognese. Does the right thing. Tries to distract the IS-7 from uh, from killing the T-100LT. Unfortunately, the T-100LT goes down, but what a, what a good effort from the uh, T-100LT. Richo from a Kanga clan. Bolognese puts another one into the IS-7. Probably, oh, I don't know, thinking, gee, that was that a low roll? Or should he have waited until he had two rounds in there? He's going to keep circle jerking the IS-7 and confirming his third kill. 10-6 the score now. They're winning winning by four tanks. You've got to say, it's got, it looks like the, the result is in the bag. Three kills to Bolognese. Nearly 5,000 damage. 1150 assisted damage. Still waiting for that first round to go in. Unfortunately, it's going to take a long time for the next one. But he's not going to give up an easy damaging shot into the Scorpion G. 11-8. 5,356 damage done. 15-25 assisted damage. There's that Edelweiss. Has that Edelweiss been back in that corner uh, since since that first engagement right at the beginning? I'm not too sure. The Object 263 gets a shot into the side of the Progetto 65 and Polonaise is saying, hang on a minute, where's this guy? What's this guy doing? Waiting for his gun to reload. He don't, the, the worst DPM with this is if you wait for the first shell to load and then shoot straight away because because you've got no rounds in the barrel. It's not going to, uh, it's not going to reload any time quickly. That one was just about in. I think you got away with that one. And uh, in a few seconds, you'll have two. And that's what he's going to need at least two, probably three, maybe even four, to get rid of the um, Object 263. He puts one into him, pulls back for the reload. Six seconds before this second round is going to go back in there. He'd love to have a full clip here. And I reckon that's... Um, that's where you've got to make a decision, don't you, sometimes? With this tank, you've got to make a decision. Do you do you wait for the full clip to reload, or you, do you uh, do you take the opportunities as they arise? Only up by only up by two tanks now. Bolognese puts one into the back of the WZ1321. That's a tier 10 Chinese light tank. Who is... Is he still alive? He is still alive by the looks of it. Besides that the Object 263 is the, the bigger the bigger threat. Puts one into the side of there. Brings his damage up to 7,103. And now it's just a, just a roll into this Edelweiss. He'll probably need two rounds. He's got two. There's one of them. Where's the, uh, where's the next one for the kill? Thank you very much. Four kills to Bolognese from Yeti Clan. Over 7,500 damage done. And uh, we all know this is going to be looking like a pretty tidy result 
from Bolognese from Yeti Clan. In the tier 10 Italian Auto Reloading Medium Tank, the Progetto M40 Mod 65. Try saying that one after a few beers. Let's see how he went on the post-game battle result. The Ace Tank of Mastery Badge, the Hand of God, Spider Medal for all that assisted damage. Bruiser, up, Duelist, Fighter, Fire for Effect, the Confederate Medal for shooting more enemy tanks than anyone else. High Caliber, Tank Sniper. I didn't, didn't think he was really sniping in that game. He was right up in the front of where all the action happens. All game long, in the, in the middle. But um, I suppose even in Prokhorovka, when you're in that middle part of the map, you, um, <coughs> when you're in the middle part of the map, you can still get snipey shots like onto the hill and also onto that northwest part of where all the enemy teams were. Plenty of damage to all those enemy tanks. Have a look at that result. 7,901 hit points of damage, 4 kills, 1231 base experience. If I 33 shots, 29 hit, 25 did damage, 3,000 from more than 300 metres. It didn't feel like that kind of game. That's because he was right in the middle of it. Uh, but also, even though he was in the middle of the map, he was still taking his opportunities to put rounds into those enemy tanks that were on the hill and off to the other flanks. 2,279 assisted damage, and he even made credits. 41,166 credits. That's after tax with a premium account. That's Bolognese from Yeti Clan. In the Progetto M40 Mod 65, the new Tier 10 Auto Reloading Italian Medium Tank at Tier 10. Let's have a look in this uh, second game, this double shot of Tier 10 action. This one looks a bit different, and that's what you're thinking. Yes, it is a bit different. This is Bucket, also from Yeti Clan. Bucket uh, sent me this replay just the other, or a couple of days ago when I'm recording it. Probably maybe a week ago by the time it goes online. He's in the Progetto 65 as well, and this time he's doing a Tier 10 advance. It's uh, Yeti Clan up against OINU on Redshire. And uh, here we go, Bucket from Yeti Clan. He streams as well. Make sure you check out Bucket and Bolognese on Twitch. Links will be in the video description below. Bucket over here. It looks like the, there's a bit of a fight happening over here in the east. And it uh, looks like there's a bit of a fight happening in the middle as well. Bucket wants to make sure he gets rid of this uh, Object 268 version 4. Of course, Bucket's in a, in a tournament team called version 4. That's why he wanted to get rid of that one. Picks up his first kill. 1,467 damage done. Waiting for that gun to reload. He's got one round ready to go. Make that two. And then, as you, as you can see, the um, third one takes less time. And the fourth one takes even less time. But uh, he's going to he's gonna use it like a, a traditional autoloader by the looks of it. And try to get as the most amount of damage he can in one clip. He's looking for the object 140. There you go. Easy damage all day long into the back of the Russian medium tank. Three shots should be enough for the kill. Two kills to Bucket from Yeti Clan. 2,371 damage done. Of course, the tier 10 advances. It's 10 versus 10 at tier 10. Not sure about other servers. I've got a feeling other servers might be 15 versus 15 similar to Clan Wars. But this one's on Redshire. And of course, it goes the tier 10 advances or all advances have changed. You no longer run the risk of losing all those things that you've fought for. So, which is encouraging more clans to participate in this, uh, this version of the game. And I'll tell you what, I've done a few of them myself and they are a hell of a lot of fun and a good way to learn how to sort of coordinate an attack I guess you would say and good good practice for uh, for tournaments as well as um, as well as tier 10 clan wars in general anyway bucket from Yeti is seeing the opportunity to farm a bit of damage into the back of the enemy super conqueror unfortunately one of those shots didn't pen if, if all shots penned he would have picked up the win on that British tier 10 heavy tank six all the score now few of the tanks have gone down relatively cheaply I do believe I maybe maybe not I'm not really sure I was watching what happened happened on Bucket's side, but all of a sudden, Yeti don't have the upper hand in this game. This looks like if Bucket's going to carry this one, it's going to be a come from behind win. He's kicking back here near the wreck of the uh, near the wreck of the the Zeppelin. Is it? Looks looks like a, a scene that's a little bit more closer to PUBG than World of Tanks. This broken Zeppelin on the eastern side of Redshire. Bucket waiting for that. Uh, waiting for the gun to reload. So here's another opportunity. Two shots into the WZ trip 158, but unfortunately that's his clip spent and he's down 7-8. 8-8 eight, now as uh, the object 907 picks up the kill on Bacon Kank, the T95 E6. Bit of map pinging going on there. 8 all. There's a bucket on two kills in the Progetto 65 and uh, RZ well, how do you say that? RZ sleeping one half in the 907? I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Hold my beer. I've got this. He's letting his teammates know. Not long to the reload now. Third round is just about in. The Object 907, however, is in a little bit of trouble. And that's why uh, 
Yeti's going to try and help him out with that WZ. 5A gets two into him. He's going to need to pen this one as well. He does. He sets him on fire. Does he kill him? No. He, he, he did set him on fire, but automatic fire extinguisher, I guess. Now it's one versus two. Just bucket up against two WZ triple one five A's. Of course, those triple one five A's, they're a pretty popular tank in clan wars, in tournaments, in skirmishes or advances, whatever you want to call it. Bucket up to 5,194 hit points of damage. He's got two shells in the clip. Ready to go. He's still waiting on two more. This is the same tank that uh, Bolognese had on Prokhorovka. He's waiting for that reload. He knows one of those 5As is very low hit points. People pinging the map all over the place. And uh, Yeti, uh, Yeti Bucket saying, don't worry, I've got this. I've got before, got before rounds ready to go. That WZ is on 686 hit points. The other one... The other one is, I reckon the other one's on double digit uh, hit points. So definitely just a one shot from uh, from Bucket. He's got heat loaded. He's got the spaghetti and meatballs as a premium consumable. He's ready to carry this one. He's got his carry pants on. There's one. The first the first one tracks him. Automatic, uh, not automatic, but he fixes his, fixes his track. And um, the quick tap of the uh, repair kit button. And that makes the score even again at nine apiece. 5,800 and 80 hit points of damage from the old mate Bucket from Yeti Clan. Three kills. He's trying to carry this one at 10 versus 10 advances on Redshire. The WZ Triple One Five A. The last remaining tank. I reckon they were pretty low. That was the one that he set on fire not so long ago. And uh, but of course, an automatic fire extinguisher shop certainly would have would have fixed that little uh, fire up in the Chinese Tier 10 heavy tank bucket. Not stuffing around here. Moving back towards the cap. Just going to quicken this one up because I'm nearly late for work. So we've got to get this one happening and uh, ready to rock and roll. He gets spotted. Not... Gets spotted. The WZ Trip 158A. That's where... That's where Od Odysseus thinks he might be spotting him from. Or oh, maybe up there, says uh, RZ. Who knows? Maybe he's down there. <laughs> and uh, Bucket's saying, hold my beard. I've got this. Don't... Uh, Stop, stop picking the bloody map. I know that's what I'll be saying. And he's trying to get out of it. He doesn't want to get shot. If he gets shot once from that WZ, then he would uh, more than likely uh, be a one shot. I think it's going to take two shots to kill him, though, from the WZ. Triple one five a Just quicken this one up again. He gets spotted again. WZ did shoot from somewhere. We didn't see which direction it came from. Well, we'd only be guessing. Of course, he's looking in that general direction because that's... Uh, the most likely place. He's already sort of covered this. Everything east of the of the of the river of the creek. Uh, Bucket uh, picked that one up. He's clearly went unspotted, and now he's spotted again because his six heads just went off. And that WZ is probably not too far from the southern cap circle. Two minutes left on the on the clock on the timer. First one does not scratch. WZ is on 43 hit points. Bucket saying, oh, you're not, you're not serious, are you? 43 hit points. And of course, he's going to put that building between Bucket and himself. What's Bucket going to do? Bucket's a one-shot as well now. Bucket down to 80 hit points. That last one got him for 534. Not sure if that's a high roll or what for the triple one. 5A. Uh, his teammates encouraging him. He's saying, no worries, Bucket. You've got this, man. Knock over a few buildings. That'll make it a little bit... Uh, Let's just confuse him. Shoots and aims. Doesn't penetrate again from the side, but it's okay. He's allowed to. He's still got three more rounds in the clip. And, of course, with the auto-reloading mechanics, he doesn't even have to worry about, um, about, uh, about running out of rounds. Looks like he's, he's not going to... He's not holding back. He's not going to slow down. He shoots him. He shoots and scores. Four kills. He says four kills. A victory shot into the sky. And I reckon at this stage, he's already sent a message to Stewie JP at Get On Board Studios down in sunny Melbourne to uh, chuck this one up on your channel. Yo, mate, this one is not a bad carry at all. There you go. Two games featuring the Progetto M40 Mod 65. Let's have a look at Bucket's result in the Tier 10 advances. Top the score charts comfortably with 5,923 hit points of damage. Four kills, 13, 15 base experience. Tells me it would have been an ace tanker if it was a, a random battle. Uh, plenty of others did plenty of things as well to, to contribute to that win. And uh, bad luck to that. Uh, not sure which one, which one of these WZs 
didn't quite make it, but they didn't have a bad game either with 4,000. 101,370 credits. I can honestly say I have never seen that in a tier 10 result, especially when he was shooting, uh, shooting premium ammunition and also running uh, running premium consumables as well. But of course, he did have battle payments on for an extra 150,000. So without that, he would have lost 50,000 credits. But of course, with these battle payments, with uh, Clan Wars, the strongholds, clearly had the stronghold bonuses running and uh, as well as it being an enjoyable form of the game having a 10 versus 10 at tier 10 for advances pretty profitable as well if I do say so myself 25 shots fired 22 hit 18 did damage pretty sure it was was it heat rounds all day long hard to say 5,923 damage a little bit blocked no assisted damage but who cares it was a great carry from your old mate Bucket th from Yeti Clan don't forget to check out Bucket and Bolognese, both from Mini Clan and Twitch. Links down below, along with all the other stuff I normally put down there. Thanks for watching. Thanks very much for the replays, lads. Very enjoyable. The Tier 10 Italian Auto Reloading Medium Tank Vegetto M40 Mod 65. Try saying that one after a few beers. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. See you all next time.